Hello, this is Lukas from the Foreman uh, project and um, I'd like to show you a small script uh, which I wrote to um, improve my uh, experience when I'm working with ASCII doc uh, documents, specifically Foreman documentation. As you can see, mm, you know, here uh, documentation usually consists of, um, you know, uh, several chapters or individual files, adocs is the extension for ASCII doc and uh, since uh, we are actually in the process of breaking these chapters even further uh, into what's called modules these um, index files or master files will actually increase in length and it is really um, tricky to find the content when you're working on a guide or on a book because you know the text you know flows from the top to bottom however if you open up a directory let's say topics here it is you know the order here is not different uh, sorry it's not not correct it's uh, you know alphabetical order and that's really tricky um, to navigate now you know thinking like can I figure out something and yeah uh, I wrote a script which is here this is our form and documentation um, folder project or github repo it's called ASCII include linker and the idea, idea is simple I know it's a small script I can show you here it's you know one page long Ruby script and what it does is it creates a sim links in, in, in traverses the uh, whole directory in the project directory and for each individual adoc files if it sees some um, those include statements it recreates the structure in a, a directory called dot ailing so it's a hidden directory by default this one is uh, in git ignore so it, it won't go into into git and as you can see, for each in individual uh, file, so here we have in the provision guide folder, we have mastered a doc. It creates a symlink that is named uh, in a way that it's sorted in the same you know order that uh, the reference appears in the in the file. I'm not sure if that's a easy to understand uh, in this terminal but once I switch over to this editor as you can see I executed this uh, this uh, script now there is a new uh, directory here a link and if I open up I have a you know the file you know structure will be the same as the project structure so if I open up a monitor uh, sorry projecting guide as you can see let me just make this a little bit wider as you can see if I open up a uh, master of the provisioning guide as you can see common attributes 00, zero common attributes zero 01 topics introduction zero 02 provisioning context so I can very easily you know uh, switch uh, from one file to uh, to other you know in this order so this this is basically the flow of the text within the guide within the uh, within uh, the book uh, so it's pretty natural for me to you know easily you know locate things uh, because that's how I see it when I generate a PDF or HTML that's what I want to see actually so yeah this is pretty much it uh, you know this script you just you know execute it every time you want uh, this uh, directory to be created every time you you know rename a file or whatever those links might get invalidated so they will likely disappear from here or will be in red color I'm not sure how to, you know every single text editor uh, behaves differently so so we just rerun the script and that's pretty much it so yeah have a nice day have a good weekend um, later